I was uh, born in Minnesota, uh, raised in Minnesota. I really love it here. I like the culture. And so one of the most common questions I get asked is, why did you found your business here in Minnesota? And the answer is, this is because this is where I live. Culture of the state is changing. You know, we, we have a high agricultural component as well, so the biotech and ag actually go hand in hand, and that's also growing. Our main goal has been to serve those patients. The patient comes first. So if we can help somebody with a debilitating disease, that's what we should be doing, and that's where we should be putting our energies. I believed that biology was the next wave of medicine for the future. I, I'm a business person with an engineering background, so I started up this biological biotech company. What I found when I started Rebiotics is that nobody knew you know, what microbes were in the gut. The gut has the most diverse and populated microbiome in the human body. And when that gets disrupted, it has an impact on our immune system. And because of that, C. diff, which is an organism, takes over and overloads that person's system and causes severe diarrhea. People who get C. diff uh, take antibiotics to treat the C. diff. So the disease itself might go away for a period of time and then it comes back. My sister had suffered from recurrent C. diff. My mother, who had been in a nursing home, I thought she was gonna die and I called all my family members and said, you gotta say goodbye to mom. So our goal, of course, would be to stop C. diff from perpetrating. It's been interesting being a pioneer in this space because we had to invent the test methods. We had to invent you know, all the pieces around it along with the regulators. We are the most clinically advanced company in this space and we've conducted actually six clinical studies over the last eight years, um, encompassing over a thousand patients to demonstrate that we can do this safely and um, effectively. We take um, human fecal material from donors. So we have donors that come to our facility, leave a donation for us. We take that fecal material and turn that into a drug product. So we strip out the microbes, we preserve and package those microbes and put them into a, a patient-friendly delivery form. We're really trying to change the way that people think about treating disease, but we're also trying to change the way that people make technologies. So if you were to walk into one of our labs today, you'd see one of the most intense patient sampling programs that it exists in our industry. We have completed our phase three trials and we are now going to the FDA to try to get our product approved. Our product changes the environment, so it's no longer profitable for that uh, C. diff organism to grow. We were aware of Rebiotics because Rebiotics has spent over a decade developing their products for the U.S. market. I could see that this would be a great partner for me to realize my dream to use the microbiome to develop products that helps patients live better life. Thering has been involved in the microbiome field over the last decade. So when he and I met and the two companies kind of came together, it, it worked out quite well because both of us were passionate about the microbiome and what opportunities it afforded. Her vision for how this could be used to help patients make them live better lives will be remembered as one of the true breakthroughs in therapeutics. What we believe is that we're solving an unmet medical need and we believe that we have the mechanism to stop that disease from recurring. People that come into the company you know, that are relatively new, they're either here because they've heard about the great work we do and we believe in the mission or they've heard of her. From a jobs perspective, she might be the single greatest recruiting tool that we have.